Hey YouTubers, so our tour of the Peak District starts here. I'm still sounding like Barry White, <laughs> which Jess seems to be enjoying quite hugely. <laughs> and uh, maybe I, could, I should keep this sound going, start smoking cigars or something. Anyway, road trip. Road trip. Where's your thumb? She has one job. <laughs> one job. She has one talking part. Road trip. <laughs> Hey YouTubers, so there's Jess in her normal position. She's done nothing. You know, I've put the power in, I've put the windbreak up, I've put the chairs, the table up. She just sat there and looked pretty. Say hi, Jess. Sorry? Liar, liar. So anyway, we're at the Duke of York. The Duke of York, Buxton, I think it's called. Sorry? Well, he says Buxton on the website, but it's nowhere near Buxton. Uh, but look, look at the view. So this is Millie all parked up. She made it. She made up up the hills and everything. She did really well. But look at this. What a beautiful view that is, eh? So this is what you get when you when you book in, and it's got all the walks from the pub. So it's the Duke of York, and it's Pomeroy near Flag, Derbyshire, to so the Peak District, and uh, a whole raft of different walks on here. Of course, you don't get a body like this by walking, but we can have a look. Okay, so let's have a wander around. It's a very small site. It's just playing around with the horn, annoying everyone. So, uh, it's probably better walk backwards. Look at the view. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's a tiny site, and uh, I'll count how many pictures. I think it's 28 or 30 pictures in total. And... Uh, We'll just have a quick spin around. We're here for two nights. Uh, so we'll do a whole tour and a review of the campsite.
Okay, so let's talk about the facilities. So, two showers, two cubicles, and two urinals. For the showers themselves, got a seat. As you know, if you watched all my reviews, I do like a seat in a in the shower. It lets you put the bag down, stops put, putting things on the floor. Plenty of hanging space for your towels and clothing, etc. And a separate shower door, so the shower's separate from your changing room. So you've got some space, you're not gonna get your clothes wet. There's no risk of any like spraying water, etc. The only thing I didn't like about the showers is it's a fixed head. I do like to take the shower head off, etc. And also it's the push button ones and the temperature set. So Jess's shower this morning, she said was, it started off cold and then got very hot. Uh, mine kind of was hot pretty much all the way through. So it's a, it's a nice temperature shower. But some people like cooler showers, some people like hotter showers. You don't have a choice. It's a set temperature. So I do like that control over the showers. The only thing I didn't like about the showers was the one temperature. So what do you think of the showers from a lady's point of view? There's lots of space to put all my stuff. But you had to keep pressing the button, which was a bit annoying. And the actual cubicle, there wasn't a lot of room to shave your legs. There wasn't a lot of room to shave your legs. <laughs> no, there wasn't. Oh, top tip there. There you go. Not enough room to shave your legs in the showers. I mean, how much room do you need to shave your legs? And do you like to stick each leg out kind of thing? Like, what's, <laughs> what's the process? <laughs> but, because there's nowhere to put your razor, you have to put your razor in your mouth and then do your soap. And, well, and then you shaved your legs using your mouth. <laughs> no, I didn't. I took it out of my mouth and shaved No, no, how would you have done it if it was in your mouth? <laughs> you were giving us a demo. <laughs> so there you go. There is a point now. There was, there's no shelf. Uh, actually in the shower cubicle it would like a corner unit or it somewhere so. just to put your showers yeah but if you've got like a bottle yeah if you, you had got... hanging up shower gel yeah okay but if you didn't then you're... yeah so if you go camping make sure your shower gel's hanging uppy but most shampoo doesn't come with a hook do they no and conditioner because sure. no. obviously so i, had to put that on the I take three bottles to the shower me i take my uh my, my shampoo my conditioner my body wash Actually, I took one bottle and it was the same stuff I used to do the dishes. <laughs> so I'm a one bottle kind of man for everything when I go camping, where Jess has got like 18 different bottles. I'm, I'm unique. One bottle, I did the dishes and I showered myself with the same stuff. So Darren yeah. smells like dishes. No, the dishes smell like me. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Other than that, would you recommend the campsite? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I, I think the, the reason you come is for that. Okay, so here I am, drawing my free paint. They had a special promotion on, on their Facebook page. So points now, on a Sunday, they stopped serving alcohol at eight o'clock, stopped serving food at six, I think. It's worth checking, because I think they change it depending on staff availability, etc. But, you know, if you're coming here camping, you've probably got no food on it anyway, but just double check to make sure. I also recommend if you're staying here, book a table because it gets very busy inside the That's a good onion ring that isn't it though? Like? <laughs> Put your head through it. <laughs> just settled here on our second night at the Duke of York and I uh, thought we'd just do a final kind of wrap up review of the campsite. Uh, I mean, we went round and checked every single one of the pictures and they all have great views. So you can see on the video where we've done a tour. Yes, it's small, uh, but it's quaint. It's very quiet. I mean, we're here Sunday night and I think there's only about, what, five vans in 30 pictures. So it, it's, it's very quiet. And if you read some of the TripAdvisor reviews about the pub, Yes, it's quiet. Yes, it's small. It's not badly priced. Uh, it's in the middle of nowhere. I, we found the staff very friendly. We've got a free pint. <laughs> They're special on that if you showed them a face, their Facebook page. You got a free pint. So I always like a free pint. Uh, the facilities are okay. They're clean. They're small. Uh, I'm, I'm never been a fan of a fixed shower. I, I do prefer to take the shower head off and I don't like the buttons. But a lot of campsites have that. It's to keep the costs down and it's to stop people leaving the showers running. So you understand why they install them. But they were still clean. I like the seats. I like the separate place that the shower has a shower door. So there's no risk of you wetting your clothing. 
the phys facilities are, are spot on. Uh, it's a nice campsite. Is it slightly run down? I wouldn't say so. I mean, the the hard pitches are slightly overdrawn, overgrown, but the grass is nicely cut. I, you can't fault it. And the views, you know, you're staying here with the views. This is why I picked it. So I don't necessarily listen to the TripAdvisor reviews. Uh, we had a great time. You don't hear the road noise at night. Uh, it's a quiet road. We're in the middle of nowhere. You know, you're on the top of a hill. It's a bit windy and it's a bit chilly at night because you're so high up. But other than that, it's a beautiful campsite. So this is Jess keeping herself warm with a gas heater on the outside. Anything to add about the campsite? No. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful campsite. Highly recommend it. Really recommend the pub. Uh, friendly staff. Nice location. Can't go wrong.